Hello my beautiful light workers. If you've made your way and found yourself on this reading, then this is going to be a reading of self-love and encouragement. There's really a mixture of messages I can already see coming out because I've pre-shuffled your cards already to save time and I'm so excited to get into this. It's things that you can remember that are beautiful about yourself to be proud of and not only that but what you can really see around you that's changing that you can honour yourself to feel proud and grateful for that too. So Hopefully this reading brings some love and makes you feel really uplifted and good about yourself, which is how we should constantly feel, but I know that is not always the case because we are so hard on ourselves. <laughs> so, with that all being said, you can go to the description below and click on your timestamp for your reading to be taken straight there. We have three piles today. This is pile number one with nostalgia, focus on the here and now. We have sword, make the change, and we have stars, you can manifest your every wish. I really encourage you to look at the imagery on these photos and see which one really calls to you, but you can also look at the crystals I have paired with them. This one has some beautiful blue lace agate. In pile number one, pile number two, you have some beautiful, beautiful, um, Oh, my mind's just gone blank for this. I hate it when that happens. What is this? Um, you, you, Unikite. I'm not actually sure how to say this one. That's probably why I forgot it because it's just, yeah. But this is Unikite, Un, Un, Unikit. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's a beautiful crystal of self love. And we've got a lovely raw chunk of moonstone for pile number three. So, take as much time as you need. You can pause the video here, look at all the cards, or if you already know what pile you would like, then as I said, head to the description below and click on your timestamp to be taken to your message. I will see you all there, you beautiful angels. Hello, my beautiful, beautiful pile number ones. If you chose this card, Nostalgia, along with this beautiful blue lace agate crystal, then this is going to be your reading. First of all, self-love messages that are coming in is to acknowledge the fact that you have a beautiful imagination, you have a beautiful mind, and you have a beautiful body. <laughs> but it's like you are beautiful inside and out. And what really draws people into you is this calm, dreamy, watery energy. Because with the blue lace agate here, blue lace agate is very much a crystal that is so soothing, so calming with what you say, how you say it, the advice that you give to people. You have a way of saying what people need to hear and really consoling them from a higher level. You, the second thing that sticks out very, very, very prominently and that just hits you in the face is your creativity. And when I say creativity, this could be in so, so many areas. You have an amazing imagination for thinking of ideas, for transmuting energies, say from love into a painting or love into a message or the sound of your voice is extremely healing. You could be gifted at writing and um, like writing in any forms, whether that's a book, whether that's quotes, whether that's poetry, whether that's a guidance or advice. You have this creative energy which is not bound to any one thing. Your creativity can be applied in so many areas and the things that you do and the things that you that you create are a work of art in their own without you even getting to the end goal or your, the goals that you set in your mind these little things along the way are works of beauty that you can be so proud of just your journey so far in general you have been cultivating growth always you have been Looking at the positive side when you can, because I know we can't always, but you have been feeling good and you make it an effort to make yourself feel good because you know this is important. You give yourself time to relax and right now might be one of them times because I can see that your mind is being occupied. <laughs> 
for some of you, your mind is being occupied by maybe a lover or a relationship. There's someone who has their eyes on you or vice versa, and it takes up a lot of your mental time. Again, this is a double sorted message with the fact that you have a beautiful imagination. You are otherworldly. You are a starseed, a light worker. You are used to them beautiful higher vibrations of dimension and incarnating in them beautiful high vibrational dimensions. And so now that you're here on earth, people really see you as this, this kind of beautiful ocean. The way that you are is like the ocean. Your eyes twinkle, you are delicate, and you are soft like water. And really, you have a lot, a lot of mental energy here. And this calls, again, for gaining a higher perspective. I see you've been very lost in your own world, and this is not a bad thing, you know. It's always amazing to be dreamy and in your dream world but it could be causing some illusion. I see on the inside, you have this pull and back and forth between heading towards something very fiercely and having your eyes very set on that goal internally. But then I also see internally that you are setting boundaries, standing within your power and nurturing your own energy, nurturing your own independence. So this is very opposite energy. And so if you have been battling something that has been taking up energy inside your mind without you, like it's not necessarily like you want to, but these things just happen, you know? And I feel like maybe you've been fighting this. Spirit's using this reading as a time for you to gain confidence in um, pinpointing the things that you are thriving in, okay? And as I said, one of the things that you're thriving in with this afternoon glow is that you're very determined to work towards your dreams, towards your goals. You have a very nurturing energy in this way towards other people, but also towards your ambitions and your passions. They are something that you continuously are working on, even if it's slow growing. And that's the thing here that's beautiful is that you have a lot of things that are are slow growing but without them being completed they are individually pieces of artwork in themselves it doesn't necessarily have to be artwork but i'm just saying as a general kind of thing that you are amazing you hold this nurturing energy and that attracts a lot of people and you probably have to be careful because like right now and in the past, you probably draw people towards you that subconsciously sense this healing, watery, emotional energy. You're someone that can, uh, people can go to and feel very supported, very cared for and very comforted. And of course, this is beautiful, but it's dangerous in a way that you need to make sure that you are allowing people to come in and you're giving love to them the same as they will give back to you you know not just giving out of your cup and then them filling theirs up but them filling your cup and you filling their cup as well but as I said you're probably one of them people that people look at and you're like whoa they are so beautiful they are so there's something about you that is different from the rest you have exotic coming out here meaning that like if you are having if you have connections that are from different places people find your voice your accent beautiful they love it or the way that you look is very exotic i do get this watery energy from you guys i don't know whether some of you live near beaches or you just enjoy being near water or it's like that beachy vibe you got going on whether you're a boy or a girl and that will resonate specifically for some of you but in general you are all just icons people look at you and think wow they are dressed amazing their hair is so cool they are not of this world because whatever you touch turns into beauty turns into healing 
you have a lot of healing power within your hands and anything you touch your creativity is so vast i don't even think you've tapped into all of the areas that your creativity spreads upon because it is not just one area you are multi-talented and again you may not have tapped into literally everything that you're talented in because there's so many areas and it's this idea of creativity not just being one thing creativity is a blanket that you can apply to anything creativity is the transmutation of energies you are gifted at transmuting energies you're gifted at uplifting lower vibrational energies into higher ones and healing people but as I said, there's many people with their eyes on you. You catch a lot of people's eyes. And not only that, but I feel as if there's someone on your mind too. But regardless whether this connection is beautiful and glowing or whether it's not and you don't want to pursue it, Spirit saying there has to be, there's becoming an end to this, where you feel as if your mental realm is being taken up by these thoughts, or it might not even be with a person, but there's definitely something here that is in a bit of a dream world that I'm not saying is unrealistic or anything by saying it's a dream world, but it's a dream world because maybe it's a form of escapism for you, and it's very pinpointed down into this little pool of reality and um, this little pool of dreams and spirits encouraging you in this reading to reach out and gain that higher perspective which I think that you do a lot of the time and how frustrating is that I feel you guys when you are able to give such divine guidance such divine knowledge and wisdom to other people but when it comes to ourselves it is not as easy we don't see things as easy and we can just let things go unnoticed and I feel like as if you're kind of being like I've let some things go unnoticed and now I'm setting my boundaries I'm going to transmute this energy into what is best for me I'm going to take the time to relax and gain that higher perspective because again I say gain a higher perspective because the eagle spirit freedom is all about soaring up above the clouds and looking down to where you are and this card here with relax has the same energy it's this bee being lifted up by a balloon bees can fly like you can soar up and gain perspective yourself but that's not what's going on here. Spirit is helping you lift you up within this relaxing period. When you take the time out to rest and be and reflect, they're helping you. You're not alone. I think that that's something as well. If you guys feel as if you're alone on this, you can't speak to many people about this, you are not alone. Spirit knows everything that you're going through and it's all for a reason. And they're helping you to raise up with this energy and it is very much shadow side energy and there's a lot about communication here communication in the way that you are gifted at communicating but also in the way that maybe communication would help within this uh element that you are using this escapism to uh create that world of i don't want to say excitement but you know when I'm just going to leave it there like like that because I'm sure you understand if you've resonated with this message so far. I'm sure you understand this element of escapism which we all fall into, okay? <laughs> we all do this. And it's about accepting your situation and yourself and your circumstance as it is right now and this has been doing a lot of growth for you this whole situation has helped you grow so much in regaining your power back if you have felt like you lost your power in some ways to this because it took up a lot of your energy time and thoughts then know that you are gaining your power back and sometimes we have to have our power taken away so that we can gain it back even stronger because i do see inside you are very set towards your goal you're very set towards um 
whatever this is, you're very set towards it, but you're also set towards your own independence and your own journey and your own boundaries and nurturing your own journey for yourself. And I feel like this is coming up to be acknowledged that like that's a very strong thing to be able to do. To get to this point where you are now, where you're releasing this is beautiful and something to be proud of. Focusing your energies back onto yourself, back onto your passions, back onto your creativity is going to be amazing for this and you might even use these experiences as a muse, as a muse to create from. So you're all at the end of this cycle now, about to enter in a new cycle that is filled with clarity and filled with creativity. Whatever has been taking up your energy that um, you kind of decide to shift your focus on is going to be shifting focus into um, um, creative aspects because you are, as I keep saying, very creative people, whether that's writing, whether that's drawing, whether that's speaking, whether that's learning, whether it's just you think about things in a different way and you're able to think about things in a different way to most people. And this is a gift, okay? And you're so connected to your higher self, higher divine realms of guidance and higher beings all protect you constantly and you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Don't feel as if because you've entered this pocket where you've been in this kind of dreamy energy and um, thinking about and spending a lot of time thinking about maybe for some of you it's some other connection or just something else in general has distracted your focus for a while don't think that that was off path you needed to go through that because one it's bringing you your strength back you may have been questioning your own self like well why isn't this happening and why isn't this working out or why isn't it how I think that it should be you know you could be thinking about the past with this nostalgia here very stuck in a past connection or a past situation and that is changing but know that it happened for a reason you're going to get a muse out of this and I say that because it's like the lesson that you've been going through right now was so important and as I said, it is allowing you to claim back your authenticity and your love and your power for yourself and not putting that in anyone or anything else. And that, because of that, is going to just make you feel even more like, yes, I am that bitch. I am setting my boundaries. I have my own energy, which is beautiful and healing and all of these qualities that may be fizzled away within this nostalgia. And as I said, you're going to be using it as a muse to channel into not necessarily the darker parts, but it's like you're at the end of this journey now. So you're able to see it at this 360 point of view. I think with this eagle spirit again coming in is that you're able now at the end of this journey to see everything as a whole together while we're on our journeys and going through these lessons we get them in bits and pieces and we can't see everything for what they are and when we get to the end we're like wow well now I have this clarity and I see everything a lot clearer now I feel better about it all and now it is time for me to channel this energy into something else as I said this will be probably most likely something creative for the most part of you or something like in a hobby wise or self-made you know something self-made you're all self kind of uh, you're all very independent people at heart and you all have the ability to touch something and it turn to gold, okay? Whether that's energy, whether that's speaking, writing, art, music, anything. You have something on its way to you. Um, a bit is like a well done from spirit, like well done. We understand these things that you've been going through haven't been easy. And I hope that you acknowledge that you did a really great job through this journey. It's not an easy feat for anybody, you know, to feel pulled in two directions, to feel mentally 
and uh, drawn to something and have your heart pull the other way, you know? So you're getting energy back in recognition and success and they are around the corner. You are about to enter a new cycle that leaves some of this behind, leaves the nostalgia behind and allows you to be present in the moment, feeling as if you were glowing and thriving and the things that you have been growing, even if they have been slow, they are growing healthily and they are growing at their own pace that they will be very strong. And I don't know if you know this, but when a flower grows, if it grows too quickly, it actually the stem does not have enough strength to hold the flower up. So it's like this slowness growing of the things that you've been working on is actually growing with strength. And it's growing with more strength than it would be if it was all to just shoot up very quickly, you know? So I can see your spirit guides are very, very, very close to you right now. And again, you could have been dreaming of a specific someone. You could have been having a lot of uh, intense or vivid dreams because of how your subconscious and soul is processing these lessons and this is why spirit's saying to relax because you've been doing a hell of a lot of work you know you've been doing a lot of work in your subconscious in your sleep and in your soul that you don't always remember as a physical body your 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 higher self's been out there exploring getting answers and seeking a higher perspective for it to then all trickle into your physical being and so i am so so very proud of you guys so proud of you guys and i feel like you are going to get just a massive creative and confidence boost from this and yeah this reading was all acknowledging that how well you did through this lesson taking your power back setting your boundaries to what you deserve because sometimes we get lost and we forget you know to set our boundaries for what we deserve because we are always so kind and giving to other people but what do you deserve back as well you know so that is your reading guys those are the things that you can be very proud of and that self-love push to to have is that acceptance right now that you've come to you should be so proud of your gentle warm nurturing and en energy that constantly heals people all the time you should be proud of your gifts that you came here with that you have only scratched the surface of and i'm not saying that as if like you're not doing enough it's that You've already discovered so much creativity and yet somehow there is still more. So this is exciting. Remember guys, we've never lived our most exciting day yet. It's still yet to come. The best day of our lives is still waiting there for us and we are only as far as we have come so far and we still have so much more to do, so much more to see and so much more to live and I have full faith that you will manifest the world and reality that holds that you hold dear to your heart, um, whether this is this connection or whether that this is um, your dreams connected to your passions and creativity, I know that you will do it. And right now, you're actually creating a portal for you to step through into your new reality, into your new beginning that is going to align with your inner state of self, shifting from focus onto someone or a certain situation from the past and shifting onto you on the here and now, what you deserve your boundaries and nurturing your own energy, feeling good about yourself, doing your makeup nice and just standing in your own power. I love you all so much and I'll see you all very soon. Hello my beautiful, beautiful pile number twos. If you chose this card with the sword, make the change and this unicite crystal, then this is going to be your reading. Sorry if you hear loads of cars outside, my window's open, it's really hot today. So just ignore that. Ignore outside influences is kind of the message of your reading as well. Ignoring others' opinions of you and how you think they will view you. Um, this Unikite crystal is all about self-love and that is not what, like, that is today's reading. <laughs> self-love and this crystal is especially for that it might be good to sit and meditate with this crystal or just if you want you can tune into the energy of it here just looking at it and feel its vibration fill you up 
but this again is all to do with the heart chakra you know and it says sword make the change because this i feel is about how you see yourself and your appearance and very much like your solar plexus um how other people see you and how you want to be seen and there's this like voice of ego that can come in between us and how we see ourselves a lot of the time by how we think other people will view us what they will think when they look at us and the judgment that they hold and it's like your ego does this for you um, before you even get that off other people it may have come from a place in the past you may have people in your inner circle like friendship wise family wise that have made comments or made things that subconsciously have made your ego build a protective layer between how you want to be seen and how you feel who you actually are I feel as if your ego has done an amazing job at trying to build a mask at portraying some someone who wants to be accepted and normal and liked and just you're a very sensitive empathic person and so if if you're out and about and you have someone look at you it's like I kind of get this feeling it's like you feel the energy that people project onto you and so to avoid that happening it's like you try and fit to the image that other people will like so that you can save yourself from picking up this energy but you know what guys not every single person is ever going to like you or think that you look um acceptable or any certain type of way you just can't be for everyone and i know that it's hard but some people are always going to have something to say you know and <clears throat> this whole reading is about the judgment that you place upon yourself it's about maybe you feel as if you want to make changes change your appearance if you've been thinking about cutting or dyeing your hair a cool color or anything like that or dressing a different type of way then it's all about that feeling of wanting to do that that feeling of wanting change you have so much energy of change coming up in your reading and i feel as if it's like you wanting to actually break out of this tower that you have been in self imprisoned in by yourself but also other people but not fully like you you don't want to keep yourself here you don't want to be there but it is how society has led you to believe to feel and it's how your ego has developed itself to protect you to feel and it's like you've been stuck in this tower and it is time for change and you want to be able to change embody your most authentic self without that pressure from your ego saying well what will other people think how will they think about me maybe they might burn me you know like maybe if i cut my hair or or dyed it a color or that's just an example or if i change the way that i dress maybe i'll be roasted like maybe i'll get burned by a friend a family or just my surroundings maybe you don't feel fully comfortable to really express and show who you really are which i'm so sorry about that because obviously that comes from places of hurt I'm not sure like my road outside is not that busy but all of a sudden tried to do your reading and it's just yeah decided that everyone wants to drive now <laughs> anyway this reading is really about seeking those people seeking let it go let it go i feel like this is linked into your reading as well it's like if someone says something and it annoys you it's just like let it go let their opinion go they do not matter you know like your opinion is the only opinion that matters and that should be valid you know and i feel as if you guys are way 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 too harsh on yourself with how you look sometimes when you look in the mirror um like the thoughts that you get when you do that how do you see yourself and what changes would you like to make 
There is a big element of change here and it's leading me to believe that all of you that pick this pile are actually going through some changes in whatever aspect that may show up in your life. This could be work, this definitely <laughs> for a lot of you could be work or your passions or where the direction in which you are putting your energy and focusing on to on heading towards too. There's this change that is being welcomed in, that is lightening up, bringing vibrancy, bringing fresh new energy on this old structure of being that you have outgrown. You are such a beautiful, authentic person and you have outgrown some of these people and some of these um, thought habits that keep occurring for you. And I see like on an inner level, maybe you deal with anxiety or especially when it comes with how you look, maybe in the past you've been made to feel not good enough um, from your appearance, maybe through relationships or uh, community, as I said, or like maybe you had some rejection or there's something here about at some point in your life, you have not felt accepted or able to fully embrace your full authenticity for what it is and there is change coming that is divinely guided and for some of you this is new friends coming in new connections coming in for you because you are someone okay self-love boost you are someone with a pure heart you have the most pure intentions you are like water and looking through water and you're a very empathic person you bring warmth to the coldest of places you you are a ray of sunshine you bring beauty to things that can feel gross and not the best energy you bring beauty to those places and vibrancy and people love this about you and this again is that I think some of the judgments you make are not actually realistic in the sense that mm, if you did do that change and embody your higher self and um, just say effort you know and do what you want People are going to accept it and people are going to embrace you for your individuality. I really know that they will. And if they didn't, they are not simply not supposed to be there with you. But it's our ego that makes these things more scary, you know? It's our ego that makes these mental, emotional places seem scary to touch upon or delve into because I feel as if they do feel quite wounding for you on this inner level and so I see you want your independence and I see you are so focused and hard working and driven towards your goals and you're driven towards change right now and you're having this Aspen spirit of courage coming through. And I do just think that this card is absolutely stunning because we see this old building in the background that is very kind of scary looking, kind of not nice, you know, like low vibrational and it looks intimidating. But know that it's it looks more intimidating than it intimidating than it seems the surface of these things looks daunting um, maybe to heal or to go into but in the reality it's your ego making this illusion um, you're being encouraged to bring love and light onto this area onto the areas where you feel unaccepting and this is really I have mentioned other people, but this is really how your brain is perceiving other people to perceive you, which is far from reality, but we would never know these things because we don't know what everyone's thinking and feeling. But it's about putting that energy onto yourself instead of looking for external sources to validate um, yourself. It's getting that validation from yourself. So yeah, I think this looks good and I don't need someone else to say, oh, this is cool before I can embody that. But um, I hope you don't think I'm just coming at you because you guys are really beautiful souls. As I said, you're so driven and you're so supportive of other people. You really have such a clear heart space, a clear heart chakra when it comes to 
um, the people around you, your inner circle and your family and friends. And you know what? They would tell you, don't be so judgmental of yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. And that if you ever want to change, that is completely down to you. This is your being, your avatar and the person who you chose to be for a reason because you thought that they were beautiful inside and out. And you have this change coming to you, which is warming up the waters, which is bringing in um, fresh new energy so you may as i say you might be starting a new job or you might be um having new connections come in for you that really hold you to this and ask you why is this that you are so judgmental towards yourself when you are this being of divine beauty love and light and that you just have such an amazing energy you're so independent and you have so much potential but and there's this element of having to be patient here and patience is involved uh, especially with your work um could this be to do with your appearance and how you think people perceive you to do with your job it could be but know that on every level you are a beautiful person and as I said, you are entering into new energy. I couldn't be any more clearer at how much change really is in the waters for you right now and how divinely guided that that is too. But your... Um, sorry, let me tune back in. I was going to say something. As we see here with the dragon spirit with change and the courage, if you picture this as... If you picture this as this beautiful waterfall and the water is you, they are already beautiful without anything else needing to be there. And like this building here that looks very groggy, very scary, and yet the sun beams through. And this is like the beauty coming in with these lanterns and these flowers and this beautiful yellow energy and colors and butterflies of blue this is your energy of self-love being brought to your being and lightening up your inside shedding away the ego shedding away thoughts and feelings that do not serve your highest good that do not serve you to bring love and light to your being because that is what you deserve and as i said you are um, being brought change by spirit to help you in this aspect, to help you step out of your comfort zone, to embody these traits that you feel on the inside that you want to bring out into the outside world. You're bringing beauty to them places, you're bringing healing to them places and you really are such a determined spirit that should be so proud of where you have got to right now, how much you have grown. Even if it feels like you have outgrown some of these aspects that you are at now, these aspects are still growth. Just because you've outgrown a place doesn't mean that it's something gross or I say gross because I always look at this building when I say that but you've outgrown some of these aspects that your ego is holding you to and you're ready to start stepping out of this even if it is scary even if it brings anxiety that is okay because healing starts with feeling you guys and this is really about getting the love and support that you need from your inner circle, from your friends, from your family, to give you that clarification that you are going to be welcomed and accepted no matter what it is that you want to bring out from your being. So, I'm very excited for you with all of this change. You have 3-3. Three, three. Um, and I do see this as like you've got new beginnings that's going to bring healing to you. And not only that, but encourage you to dabble into your more creative side. And I think it's encouraging you to dabble into more of your creative side when it comes to your appearance, when it comes to 
how you want to look. You might get your hair cut soon or you might uh, change the way that you dress by some new clothes and just start embodying who you want to be because you've decided, you know what, it's gone on for too long that I have put too much pressure on myself to be a certain type of way. I'm going to just start to not give any Fs and just be me, be authentic, you know? And I'm not saying you're not authentic already, but it is hard, isn't it? It's hard to fully be yourself in a society that constantly is conditioning you to not be that. We are constantly conditioned to fit into boxes and we are constantly told things about ourselves of who we are, what we look like, and then we hold that as our view on ourself. But I see you detaching from these. I see you detaching from um, the thoughts and views that other people hold towards you um, or even your ego holds towards you and getting more in tune with your heart getting more in tune with your inner being that is about about to blossom but remember this be patient with yourself and be patient with your journey when it comes to your work and know that you are on the right path because you are constantly wanting to move forward and make this growth and you have a lot of spiritual growth making your way in for you with this change I'm going to actually clarify what this change really could be for some of you because we've got it so strongly here that I feel like it's worth looking into a bit deeper. Okay, what, what really is it that's coming with this energy of change? Because making this change is involving courage. It's involving courage to face your fears. And some of these fears is how you communicate with others as well and how you speak to yourself. It's bringing more self-love in and acceptance to who you are. You're lifting the curtain on the illusions that your ego has painted for yourself. Yeah... So with this change, we've got Night Owl and Dreamland. Wow. There's a very much energy coming through of your dreams and your dream world. I feel as if you are getting clear on what you really desire, what you desire for this lifetime, what you desire for who you want to be, what you want to do for a living and what kind of world you want to build around yourself and it's time for a revamp I'm feeling that you're feeling <laughs> it's time for a revamp obviously this seven is a very spiritual number but it also comes with challenge because we ha it's like that seven of wands energy and then it reminds me because we've got this sword energy which is the thought realm um, of deception and the Seven of Swords deception sounds very like, whoa, to begin with, but it's more the deception of giving ourselves doubt. You're clearing away doubt and bringing in optimism, bringing in confidence and bringing in hope. You're relighting your solar plexus chakra to burn brightly, okay? And I see things going on here with this dreamland and night owl, and then you've also got seek, you feel pressured, as I said, you, you're an empath, you feel pressured by society to be a certain type of way, and now you're like, you know what, I don't want to be any of these things, I want to seek and find who I really am, I want to seek to break out of my own limitations that I set for myself, and um, I feel as if your subconscious is processing a lot of this in your dreams, or at night time before you go to bed when you have them deep thoughts, it's like... It's like you felt this coming. I feel you feel this change coming in this reflection at night time when you tap into that deeper soul being of yourself. It's like you get glimmers of it and you're like, you know what? I want a new beginning. I want to make my life wholly and completely everything that I wish it to be and fill it with love. Fill it with 
change and creation and I do think a big aspect of something that will make you feel more confident is really getting into yourself and accepting yourself for how you look. Remember, you don't need to change anything, but making changes can help us give that new fresh outlook on ourselves. Like, if you're like, do you know what, I want to embody this new person, so I'm going to change my hair, change my wardrobe, so that it can help me detach from the old and bring in new energy, so I can see myself in a new light, you know, having a fresh start with yourself creating that dreamland, spending time in meditation, doing work um, on these thoughts from your ego that can become clouded and mixed in with uh, what is actually true because your ego lies to you and I feel as if your ego has not been very nice to you in the past or recently and just know that you have emotional support around you from people that I think you wouldn't expect. I think your ego really does play a really good game on um, changing your perception of what people will say and see you as if you were to do these things, when in reality, people would be taken back by it and like, whoa, like they're very confident or they're very not afraid to be who they want to be. And a lot of the time, you know, people can perceive as as confident even when we don't feel it on the inside simply by embodying your most authentic self and that takes people back a bit they're like whoa okay this person's different they're not afraid to stand out even if you feel uncomfortable doing so you other people don't see this and you inspire other people at the same time by doing this i do feel like in your mind you're like do you know what it's time for change and it's time to be courageous it's time to create new energy have a revamp have a fresh start with myself and really get to grips on where i want to go and what i want to create for my future you know have i ever really asked myself what do i want what do i want to be like what do i want to work towards and set my sights towards in this life regardless of what other people have shown me and taught me and made me feel as if I should so I definitely see you breaking out of your tower that you've outgrown and flying free gaining mental clarity and detaching from doubt towards yourself do it make that change if you want to make a change that you've been considering or like there's been a choice that you've been considering go for it this is your green light to go for it it will help you grow in confidence and like there's changes already happening around you that are divinely guided that will help you grow your confidence too as i said um your circle could be growing or you're meeting new people you're in new environments you are tr maybe traveling to new places you are switching things up and this is all a part of that so you don't need to do this all on your own spirit acknowledges they say what right you're saying it's ready that you want to change some things that you want to judge things up a bit and go in a new direction nice we've got the memo say no more we're gonna go do the work for you as well because there is some divine timing at play here there is divinely guided opportunities for you that's helping you step out that's helping you become um more comfortable to embody yourself and be in your own frame which is beautiful but remember be patient with yourself be patient with your journey rome was not built in one day and you need to be patient because this is a long journey and everything is a long journey and the thought that we have to get everywhere so quickly is not in the grand scheme of things, not helpful because the joy is in the journey. And I know it doesn't feel like that a lot of the time, but it seriously is. And I think there's just a little reminder, please be patient with yourself and give your time self give yourself time to bloom. Don't expect yourself to just feel comfortable of doing all these things straight away. It takes time. Be gentle with yourself, be patient, and you will too bloom out to be this beautiful flower that i know that you are but it's just a case of giving yourself the time to do so and <clears throat> not putting pressure on yourself because again you could end up becoming burned out you could end up becoming burned out from this chariot energy of wanting to move forward very quickly but i hope that this has made you feel good because I just think that this 
I know it's been a bit of a lower tone, like, I don't want you to feel like I'm calling you out, like, you do this, you do that. You're doing a lot right now to help yourself. You're stepping into change, which, like, so many people, you know, like, we have we have to want change for ourselves to get change. So the fact that you're open to change and willing to uh, put your feet into new waters, having the courage to do that, step out of your comfort zone and be in new places and things like that, I think this is really going to help you. And just, again, just being open and willing to that idea takes a lot of strength in itself. So detach yourself from your ego it is just lying to you and it is not you okay your ego is not you it is just how your ego is the mask that society builds up for you in order to feel like you're doing good you're surviving you're being protected and ultimately society teaches us the wrong masks to build up so you're stepping into your authenticity giving yourself more self-love and uh, confidence in the fact that you are beautiful how you are. But as I said, if you want to make changes, feel free to do so. You are never stuck to the person that you are now. Even if people see you as one type of person, don't feel stuck to that label, to that box. Always feel, you know, you can break out of wherever you want to if you do not feel like it suits you anymore. If you do not feel like it resonates with you anymore, then that is your decision and your decision only no one else's I really feel like you guys are taking hold on your circumstance your life and really asking yourself now what do you want you know having that connection built with yourself and your independence which is beautiful so I hope that this brung some love to you because you deserve it you are so much more than you think of yourself when you're in these moments of judgment they are lies and they feel so realistic but they're lies it's not you guys you guys your independent souls you're courageous you're motivated you're hard working you're dreamy souls you have an amazing imagination and it's time to let the world see that too it's time to blossom and become that beautiful flower that you were always meant to be so again i hope that this left you feeling more positive about yourself and that you have the courage inside of you to do anything that your soul desires do not let your ego make you think that you can't or that it's too big of a task or there's too much to go into little by little you can achieve anything that you want to achieve and i know that because i'm tapping into your energy and i can feel at what how powerful you are as a soul so I hope that you leave this reading feeling empowered and if you haven't then throw the whole reading away <laughs> because this is or not throw the whole reading away but if it is maybe the ego coming in again because you guys you are so much more than you think sometimes you know so reconnect with yourself at night time i think is a very good thing to do for your processing you know looking at the moon looking at the stars taking a walk at dusk or is it dusk yeah taking a walk at dusk or when you're laying in bed about to go to sleep use it as an opportunity to do some meditation and thinking through because there's a big balancing of light and shadow sides coming here but yeah i love you all so much and i hope that this resonated and i will speak to you all very soon my angels hello my beautiful pile number threes if you chose this stars card with the with this moonstone crystal beautiful moonstone crystal then this is going to be your reading this moonstone really really always just reminds me of transcending transcending in a spiritual way of holding more light and raising vibrations and moonstone's a very special crystal just like you are a very special person and the first thing that hits you with your energy is wow like just the people around you who see you who have been around you that know you that are friends with you that are acquaintances with you you're someone that people look at and think that you 
really have no limit as to what you could achieve. You are so intelligent. Your mental realm is so intelligent. And you really have this way of bringing a really fresh energy to other people's perspectives. And you might say something and they're kind of left like, interesting. I don't really know how to take that because I've never thought about that before. You really have a beautiful, beautiful mind and this energy here of stillness. With these two cards, we have Foggy Boggy. <laughs> Foggy Bog with patience and reflecting pool stillness. These really echo the same type of energy to me. And it's like... This energy of stillness, this energy of reflection into your manifestations and what you would love to manifest and create. The thing is that a big theme in your reading here is your manifestation, your wishes and that wish energy. And, you know, it's like going along so perfectly with this card, with the star. And it's because you are such a person who is divinely guided you follow your heart you follow your gut instinct and you're very in tune with your intuition you are divinely guided and connected to your higher self to spirit you have a dreamy imagination and from a young age you know you've had this small feeling inside like there has to be more surely there's more and there is and you have something really magical about your energy in this way um, of reaching for the stars or reaching for the moon and the stars and all of it. If you want it, it is yours to have. There's a lot of love inside your energy. And again, you inspire a lot, a lot, a lot of people. The first thing that literally hits you in the face in your reading is just how other people look at you to be this person who is capable of achieving so much. And I feel as if there's an energy here in the undertones of you needing to build up this very, um, not serious, but like this, right, I'm gonna look after myself. You may have been someone who's had to look after yourself, you know, like through just growing up and through life, you've had to be your own protector. I don't know if there's like family issues or maybe there's not, it's just that you've had to develop this trait of yourself that's almost kind of motherly towards yourself um, in like a way of protection, a form of protection. And um, we can see that here in the Nine of Wands coming out that it's placed some barriers up in your trust with others and your trust with people. And I think what's really beautiful is that the self-love message coming through is that the people around you, not only do you bring so much love to them, but they help you to see you for all that you are because you've had to be in this mindset of taking care of yourself and getting on with things that um, like throughout the process, maybe it was hard to acknowledge all the things that are going well but it's like these people around you really bring that in for you and you really do have some beautiful souls who love you very dearly and not only that which is crazy because another pile had this energy it's quite clear here <laughs> the message coming through is quite clear here that there are friendships beginning, new friendships, and that you've had a new beginning. As I said, I do get this energy of you having to be there for yourself, you having to pick up the pieces and protect yourself, and along the way with this Queen of Swords, and having to be very logical, very detached from your heart, and set those boundaries, you know, set very strong boundaries with those, those people that are a bit more narcissistic, are a bit more taking away from your energy, from your light, you block them people out, and you have this empowered strength that has come from those lessons, and so you're very determined and very motivated towards making your manifestations happen, making your dreams happen, and they definitely will, but you've had to be very patient with yourself, you've had to take times of stillness to 
allow the water to settle to see your reflection clearly with this foggy bog and patience this is what i'm really getting is like sometimes the waters in which you stand you know how like when there's a lot of movement or a lot of chaos in the water all the ripples happen and we can't see ourselves clearly and then it's about allowing the pool or the bog to still so that we can have a clear surface to reflect back on i don't know if there's things in self-love here that are from the past maybe from past friendships or connections that have knocked your confidence and made you see yourself in an illusioned or a disillusioned way that is, which is far from reality because you are this embodiment of divine and serene energy you are very natural very down to earth and very intuitive as well when you give your time that uh when you give yourself that time to still the water and to look in you are always surprised as to what you see because you are always getting new realizations come through your subconscious and you really have a lot, a lot of passion within your being. I see like it's been a journey of coming to acceptance for yourself and <laughs> again with this cancer energy of like protecting, you've had to be the one to protect yourself, you've had to be the one to nurture yourself in many aspects and you've come to accept these things you've come to accept your being for who you are you've come to accept your past and maybe through the help of those close to you that are giving you the love that you so deserve um and i'm sorry if that was not always the case and that you had people around you that didn't didn't do that for you and you know made you feel as if you had to be the one there for yourself for some reason around your wishes and manifestation there's an internal level of uh, frustration and maybe this comes back to the foggy bog energy of patience and um dipping in out of times of feeling really great feeling really on track and then times where the logical mind gets involved and makes you feel as if you're not quite on track towards your goals and then so you feel as if you have to reposition yourself or reroute yourself and make new plans you're a very very clever person you have an amazing mind and um you're very active at um finding things out researching learning more about yourself and helping yourself grow oh <laughs> that's so funny actually because we have research here remembering knowledge and filling in all the gaps oh, that's so funny that that's been here the whole time and i didn't realize so you are very intelligent and we, again it's emphasized when we look at this card with all of these books around but it's like you don't let your logical mind keep you caged in you have a very nice balance between your logical mind and your dreamy mind and this is what makes people see you as someone who can achieve the world because you are very balanced you're very balanced in your dreams and making them dreams become a reality because you need both that air energy and earth energy of grounding them dreams into the physical realm and you very much have this you guys there's a really divinely beautiful energy to you guys almost as if like i don't know it's like you're <laughs> You have a lot of double-sidedness all over to you like you have this very gentle very serene side and then you have this more edgy side and more um like ooh, intriguing mysterious darker side and i feel like that's because you've been through so much so far um and that is like the things that you've been through have made you the person who you are today and yet you're still filled with so much passion so much love and so much dreamy energy um which is beautiful 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 i feel as if like some of your dreams revolve around having a beautiful security and solid foundation and comfort around you and that involving your passions your creativity and your sacral chakra um the world is your limit you can manifest your every wish straight from spirit's mouth you there's just no point putting a box on you and maybe you felt like you've had a box put on you in the past and you've just been like 
no, I am not staying in this box. I will not just sit here because, y yeah, you're so actively wanting to create that life for yourself of manifesting your dreams. And that is beautiful. But do not ever feel like they are out of reach from you. I'm just tapping into this Five of Swords energy, which we have to acknowledge, um, which is going on an internal level. This is not Five of Swords energy on the outside as such. It's more on the inside, this feeling of, I want to say frustration, but that's that's because it's the first thing that comes to mind when I see the Five of Swords, but it's kind of like a confusing energy. Maybe you feel pulled into different ways into what you want to manifest, you know, or like getting really clear on what it is that you want to manifest and seeing it from that higher perspective and i think that you do you d you definitely do but i think there's times when your ego will tell you otherwise and and it, this place of ego comes from a place of past wounding where you've had to really protect yourself you know things that people have said to you like well you can't do this you can't do that i feel as if your ego still holds that against you when you are going to pursue your dreams and your wishes and and it's like where this queen of swords energy comes in over the top of like detaching from that and putting the sword down because there's yeah there's been a bit of wounding there but you're very changeable you're a very mutable person you your energy is like fluid like like water in the sense that you could put you into any container and you would thrive there you know what i mean like if that's people you get along with so many people and people just find you relatable and like you understand them you make people feel really heard and really seen at a soul level for not just what the outside um perception is but on a deeper soul level you make people seen seen feel seen and heard and that is honestly beautiful that is a beautiful quality a beautiful trait but please have patience when it comes to you the things that you're wanting to manifest and that is just something that could be said for everyone because it's something we all have to deal with i feel like you're really good at holding this space of hope and light and it's just inevitable that sometimes our ego creeps in around the outside to kind of take over and derail our thoughts uh, away from those plans. Um, and I feel like your ego takes on the position of someone in your past sometimes. Um, it's like they morph to this person because your ego knows everything about you and they know what to say to make you feel doubtful they know what to say to make you feel wounded and maybe there's someone in the past that was cold that wounded you and your ego takes on this energy and and projects it towards yourself and and it's like no enough of that okay because you are coming to accept everything you're coming to accept yourself for where you are accept yourself for you as a full being inside and out shadow side and all as i was saying earlier you're a very jewel-sided person with this energy of this woman in it's it's so many things that you can get from here the fact of the matter of like having this complete black energy down here and then complete bright and purple fresh flowers up here and it's like you're very balanced as well we see with this white dress being purity and innocence and then you have this black sash around your your middle um being quite the opposite energy it's like again with her being very gentle she looks very feminine very beautiful you could be any gender but then she has these mysterious tattoos that are a bit like whoa you know like there's something very intriguing about you to people and you hold so much passion inside of your being red clouds is just that energy of bliss it's like looking at a beautiful sunset when you know the sky has gone all red and it's just really something magical to look at and it's like we see this mermaid swimming up in the clouds you have something 
very dreamy about your energy very dreamy but your self-love message right here right now is that there's a lot of um change coming to you in a way that you're going to be even finding out new things about yourself that you didn't realize that help you bring more love in you know the things that you don't actually realize and then you're like whoa you get an epiphany you get clarity you're speaking to someone or speaking to a friend or speaking to a uh, family or a relationship and you're like you know what I never realized that this happened in my past that made me feel this way or that I do this and it's like then you get that epiphany and once you acknowledge what it is that creates that energy you're quick to go in and go and transmute that energy again you know but you have this gift of your mind and your thoughts and soaring above the bigger picture you have a lot of maturity and wisdom built from what you've been through so far and i'm so sorry if you've had to go through things that were not very pleasant but look at what they made you become this strong independent um beautifully dangerous <laughs> spirit and i say beautifully dangerous because it's like you have such a gentle side to you but you know when to put your boundaries in there now because you've learned that you know and it's like you just have this beautiful energy of being very propelled towards your dreams but remember guys be patient with yourself i said this in another poll but rome was not built in a day and it's like you <laughs> rome was not built in a day but mighty like core blimey you are on your way let me just say <laughs> Maybe you guys are very creative since my poem channeling is coming out. Sometimes I channel like, I don't know, it goes into like rhymes and stuff. Something about music for you or writing, quotes, poetry, anything like that. You have a very beautiful mind that can be applied to many different areas. The main thing that this message from Spirit wanted to get across to you was how other people see you and seeing yourself through the eyes of others because to you, it's your life and you're very familiar with the things that you've been through, through uh, very familiar with how you are, that it gets kind of like normal. It gets kind of normal to view yourself as these things that when from the outside looked in, it's like, whoa, that is not normal. You are so strong. You are so capable. You're so talented. You're so creative. Um, something about like your, the way that you dress is like, you're different to other people. You express yourself and maybe you look really effing good in the color orange or peach. <laughs> I don't know but there's so much orange and peach here which again to me is like sacral chakra but you as a person embody the energy of the star card in tarot and if you don't if you read tarot and you know what the star card is like you are literally the star card you are on your way on a divinely guided path towards your dreams there's no doubt about it there's literally no doubt about it and um, this is how other people see you too, constantly, actively making strides towards your dream life through a combination of action and stillness, reflection, and then taking action on what you have reflected on. Because when you're still, you get so much information come through in that beautiful mind of yours. I'm telling you now. <laughs> so, oh, that one just fell out of nowhere. Yes, the seeker. You're a seeker of knowledge. You're a seeker of experiences. You're so spontaneous and so full of life and life force energy. And you're a dreamer. That goes so well with your card here. You are a dreamer through and through and your dreamy energy encourages other people to be dreamy as well and get more in touch with what their dreams are. Because you know, that's not a normal thing either. I think a thing to acknowledge here as well in your reading is that you dream, you have your own dream world and you have manifestations on an internal level that you think, yes, I want to work towards that. That's something to be proud of because not everyone does that. Not everyone thinks I want to reach for the stars and create all of this in my life. They simply don't do that because 
it's not all the time like we feel like we can achieve that some things feel very big to achieve and maybe you've experienced that as well maybe sometimes it feels very far away from your end goal like you can't quite see around you but we've got you going from this foggy bog being very patient uh, and using your intuition to listen to your surroundings, listen to your heart, which led you to a reflection pool of stillness that created clarity, creativity, harmony and compassion, compassion for yourself and compassion for others. I really do think that you have a lot of inner strength, you guys, and um, maybe in a way, like growing up or something like that, you've had to it was nice in the times where you could be dreamy because maybe you just wanted to escape your reality in some ways and so that's how you did it you entered into into your dream world and then once you got out of all of that and started living your life now you're ready to usher those dreams in and you really are and you have a big energy of acceptance here for who you are where you are as a being and it makes you vibrate really really very high uh, you have a massive heart full of love that you give to other people and a very watering nurturing energy as well being with you is like taking a cup uh taking a sip of tea or hot chocolate on a cold day it's very comforting and uh almost like meditative your energy is like a meditative energy for some people to be in <laughs> and you're a social butterfly as i said you're very adaptable with um with energies you get along with many different types of people you've met many different types of people from many walks of life and you have this energy of being a social butterfly flying around places and bringing light to every place that you go touching people's hearts communicating with people bringing them guidance bringing them love and making sure that they feel okay and bringing stillness to them so that they can calm their own waters as well and you have a lot of wisdom inside of you so definitely if you're um i've just seen as well her holding this book and then speaking to her friend and her friend is so contently listening and so engaged in the conversation and it's like people really really love to hear what you have to say and then we go back to this energy with the researching remembering all the knowledge and new info and we see her holding a book so if you're in researching any new knowledge right now this is maybe something very pivotal that's going to help you bring more self-love and make you feel more connected to your soul's self again so that was your reading you guys i hope that you leave this reading feeling uplifted feeling good about yourself because other people hold you to such a high level they put you on such a pedestal and this is how you should see yourself as this strong capable creative passionate warm-hearted spirit and a seeker of knowledge and a seeker of more because there is more in life so i love you all and i'll speak to you all very soon